You need to stop joking around with me. You mean you're telling me that the price of gold and silver can actually go up? Unbelievable. Yes, it can. We could be in for explosive moves in the price of gold and silver. And we deserve it, don't we? How's it felt to invest in the precious metal sector over the last year? We know pain, whether it's gold, silver, precious metal mining stocks. It has been a rough go. But do you get the sense that a new day is rising? And in this video, I think we need to talk about three things related to what's going on with the Federal Reserve. Now we know, right, the biggest headwind, the biggest downward force on the price of precious metals over the last year, year and a half, has been the aggressive action by Jerome Powell in the United States Federal Reserve. But is that changing? In this video, we're going to talk about why it very well could be changing. Secondly, we're going to talk about how we know, what are some real clues, some real communications we got from the Fed that indicate things may be changing. And finally, we're going to wrap up with some speculation about what that could mean for the price of the metals. Hold my hand. We'll go on a little journey. We'll check it all out. We're going to do it right now. Now, we know when the Fed pivots, the price of precious metals are going to skyrocket. But why would they need to pivot? Let's examine that. It's very interesting. The first reason why is that interest rates have gone up and up and up. The 10-year bond yields at 4.2%. It was at like 0.5% a couple of years ago. That is wreaking havoc. Do you have a credit card? Do you have a credit card balance? Well, then you may have noticed that the rate that you're paying on your credit card is near record high. It's causing pain for the U.S. consumer. What if you're running a big corporation? If you're running a big corporation and you have a bunch of debt, your interest expense likely has doubled or tripled when and you go to refinance that debt. And what if you're the United States government? Are you sitting there in a position of power? I know Jerome Powell watches these videos, but does Janet Yellen? Janet, how are you going to manage $30 trillion in debt with interest rates that are three or four times higher than they were just a couple years ago? The point here, guys, is that all of those sectors of the economy, all of them cannot survive with high interest rates. It shuts things down. Now, the second reason why the Fed will have to pivot is because of the strong dollar. We've had a strong, strong dollar relative to a bunch of crappy other currencies, but that's a subject for another video. The strong dollar is wreaking havoc throughout the world, causing major stresses, major issues in all the other countries of the world because a strong dollar means their currency is weaker and they're having hyperinflation. And let me throw this very interesting point in. Have you considered this? In the United States of America, we had near record inflation last year. At the same dang time, we had the dollar going up at a near record pace. That puts downward pressure on inflation. Imagine if the dollar had just stood still. Imagine if the dollar had actually gone down in value. We would have had inflation closer to 30 or 40 percent. Next, we're going to talk about how we know the Fed is sending out these dovish, loosening monetary signals. But before that, I just want to tell you thank you for deciding to join me today in Ron's Basement. I value your time. If you like talking about these subjects, diving a little deeper, looking at the big picture, seeing the forest through the trees, if you're a little smarter than the average bear, then you may have just found yourself a new home. You're always welcome here. I'll put out a new video every day. If you enjoy my content, get any type of value, please consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Turn on the little ding-a-ling bell. You'll get notified every time I put out a video. Most important, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with the other people in the forum. We just want to hear from you and get your side of the story hear from you, and learn about you. Now let's get back to the video. Now we need to remember, right? Loosening of monetary policy, dovish news from the Fed is good. It's rocket fuel. 
for the price of gold and silver. And how do we know that there may be a sea change, a little bit of a shift to the dovish side going on at the Federal Reserve? Well, we don't get that directly firsthand from Jerome Powell because I've invited him here several times, told him I'd move the bear. He always backs out at the last minute. But there is a guy, Nick Timoros from the Wall Street Journal, who always seems to have the inside scoop. I don't know how he gets it, how that works, but people refer to this guy as the Fed Whisperer. And the Fed Whisperer put out an article on Friday that basically said the Fed, yes, is going to raise rates in November like they said they were. However, they're going to have in-depth discussions about maybe making some adjustments going forward. That was definitely perceived as dovish, loosening type news when it comes to the Fed. Remember, that's good for silver and gold. Now, on a second note, we had Mary Daly. She's the president of the San Francisco Federal Reserve, and she also came out in a speech or an interview and said basically the same thing. Yeah, we're going to raise rates like we said we were. However, we need to really look at what we're going to do going forward because we don't want to wreak havoc in the economy and all that good stuff. Suddenly, we're getting these little doves being released from their cages at the Fed that, oh, maybe we need to slow down a little bit. Maybe we need to slow down a little bit. That is good for precious metals and real assets because guess what? They don't even have inflation under control yet. And what do you think this means for the price of precious metals? We're going to talk about that next. But first, I just want to mention, like I said, if the Fed finds themselves in a position with a slowing economy, Inflation is still intact, right? That is called stagflation. And if they're in a position where they have to start being a little looser, maybe even just a little dovish, it is like stagflation on steroids. And stagflation alone is excellent, excellent soil, healthy soil, fertile soil, for the price of the precious metals. I hope this is starting to make sense to you. And I understand it can be hard to believe that gold and silver, platinum, palladium could all skyrocket after what we've been through over the last year and a half, but we just talked about why the Fed may need to pivot. And we also talked about definitive messages, communications from the Fed, from the Fed whisperer as to why that could actually be happening, but what would it mean for the price of gold and silver? Let's talk about this. Have you noticed over the last year, year and a half, that the Federal Reserve and the monetary policy they've been putting out has been about as hawkish as we've ever seen in history? There's all types of statistics that point to that. It's like a wind-up toy that's been wound up, wound up, wound up probably 10 times when we thought they couldn't get any more hawkish. They did. So at this point, it is so, the pendulum is so far on the hawkish side that even just a little stop, right? Like the pendulum stopped going towards hawkishness on Thursday, Friday of last week. Just that stop, it really hasn't even started to swing back yet. That stop sent the price of silver and gold rocketing. Now, think about this. We are so far over this way that we've got a long way to go. And as we go this way, this whole way, that's supportive, that's very good for the price of the precious metals. I, I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel like we've got a long, long runway ahead of us. Look at the mining stocks. Those alone, how far they've been beaten down. They'd have to go up by like 80% just to get back to where they were six months ago. We've got a long, free, clear runway ahead of us. The Fed's not going to get inflation under control. The Fed's going to have to print more money. The math doesn't add up on their side, okay? Things still look very good for the price of the precious metals. Look, just my opinion. I don't have a crystal ball. Don't make any financial decisions or relationship decisions or any decisions based upon what I shared with you today. I just enjoy you being with me here in the basement. I'm going to look forward to you coming back.